Welcome back here. It is now 818 and it's been 100 years since the discovery of King Tut's tomb and the treasures within it. So now we get beyond King Tut, the immersive experience opening at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. It's opening on Friday, so we just have a few days all to commemorate the anniversary. Now the exhibit's creative producer, Mark Locke, joining us this morning to give us the inside scoop. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning, Nana. How are you? I'm very good. We're excited to see what you have in store for us. You're there in Del Mar. Uh, tell us what people can expect. What is this all going to be about? Well, as you mentioned, this is the 100th anniversary of what some people call the greatest archaeological discovery of all time. And uh, a king that may have gotten lost in the pages of history if it wasn't for that amazing discovery. Because uh, in 1922, in November, Howard Carter found this tomb with all the things that were still inside, all the other tombs to this day. They were robbed. So what we've got now is a exhibition experience that celebrates that. It's an immersive experience. Um, many of your viewers know what that is now with Van Gogh and Monet. We're very familiar with these large scale projection experiences. But in this case, what we're doing is I think more of a storyline. We've got, of yeah. course, the spectacular uh, immersive room, but we've also got nine galleries that tell this amazing story of the boy king. Became king when he was nine and died at unexpected death when he was 17 or 18 years old. At such a young age, I was going to ask you, I know we're looking at some video of what people will get to experience. It looks incredible. But King Tut, 3,300 years ago, uh, tell us what we've discovered. Obviously, this is a fascinating king, right? Yes, uh, we're learning more, more. To this day, we're learning more about him. You know, this exhibition couldn't have, be, couldn't, uh, have been done without the association uh, with National Geographic. You know, their academic oversight, first and foremost, but also their amazing images taken throughout the years. They've been uh, in Egypt as long as it's been since the discovery of the tomb. So the images that you'll see in, in grand fashion in these projected rooms uh, are all part of the National Geographic archives. Uh, and yes, we learn more and more about him at the same time. We don't know maybe too much because like I said, kind of an insignificant king, uh, if not for this amazing discovery, and now becomes the most popular king. Right. I think the fascination that we have is maybe with his death, you know, dying mm -hmm. such a young man and how he died. And that research continues. Mm -hmm. And as we learn more and more, that gets added to the exhibit. And of course, the treasures in that tomb. Uh, it looks like in the video, some of that will just kind of come to life, right, Mark? It really does. Uh, you know, I had the great pleasure and the privilege, really, of touring the actual artifacts. Now, those are, this, th there are no real artifacts in this exhibition because those have gone back to Egypt. Those are going to be there for many, many years to come. They're opening a brand new museum. But even though I had, like I said, the privilege of being face to face with these real pieces of history, uh, I'm seeing them now in a brand new way. When you see uh, the objects, maybe a small game that he may have played as a child, uh, small enough to hold in your hand, when you see it in grand scale and really see details that you uh, can't see uh, when you look at the real thing. Mm -hmm. So besides seeing those objects in grand scale will take you on a journey into the afterlife. The Egyptians had this amazing uh, belief on how to achieve uh, eternal life and, and make it to paradise. It was scary with monsters along the way. <laughs> that is part of this wow. exhibition. And if you're not going, we're gonna be here for a couple months, like mm -hmm. you said, opening uh, this Friday. If you don't plan on going to Egypt between now and <laughs> yeah. say the end of March, <laughs> Egypt's going to come here <laughs> right. because we actually have one of our galleries with uh, Egypt today. I love it. It's a great history that we can all learn. Uh, opens up your mind to the way people believed 30,000 years ago, Mark. Uh, real quick, we only have a few seconds, but how do people get tickets? Um, beyondkingtut.com. They are going fast since we're only here a short period of time. We're at the Wyman uh, Center at the Del Rey Fairgrounds, right. or Del Mar, pardon me, Del Mar Fairgrounds. And uh, tickets are available online uh, at uh, beyondkingtut.com. Thank you so much. Glad you're here in San Diego so we can all uh, be treated to this. We appreciate it. We'll be right back after Pleasure. this break.